the morning after disaster, a country coming to terms with tragedy. Its people now able to see the full extent of the damage in the cold light of day. The water rose up all of a sudden and slowly moved inland, sweeping away everything here, then it retreated back, said this man. Another said, we've never had this kind of thing before, not a single time in the last 60 years. <laughs> Japan was shaken by an 8.9 magnitude earthquake that was followed 35 minutes later by a tsunami that submerged already damaged towns and cities with devastating effect. A 10-meter wall of water sweeping away cars and lives. The official death toll stands at around a thousand, threatened to rise as help finally gets to the most affected areas along the northeast coast. There are reports that a third of the city of Kesanuma, home to 23,000 people, the water, along with other towns and villages. But already the tales of survival, like this child, pulled from the waters. The country, one of the world's richest, needs help and is called international assistance. There are now rescue teams from 45 countries on standby and a massive aid operation away. They have subsided in many places, but the danger hasn't, with nuclear power stations damaged by leak, prompting a state of emergency. Tens of thousands of those by have been evacuated. The fear now that a NASTA could lead to an inventory one. The power of the cooling system at two nuclear plants in Fukushima, about 100 miles from Tokyo, were knocked out. Workers are now trying to stop the core from overheating by releasing radioactive steam into the atmosphere to reduce the pressure. Experts say there's no immediate threat to health. The U.S. is helping to stop a meltdown. Japan is very reliant on nuclear power and they have very high engineering standards, uh, but uh, one of their plants came under a lot of stress with the earthquake and didn't have enough coolant, and so uh, Air Force uh, planes were able to deliver that. Meanwhile, the country continues to suffer from aftershocks, its people still nervous. There have been over 50 in the last 24 hours, including a strong 6.8 magnitude quake early this morning. Nick Davis, BBC News.